Honey was wondering when you would show up. I was pursuing Cowboy. Entering this realm, I stumbled into the Hypercube itself millennia since its complete disappearance. And I find you, Nani, somehow here as well. I expect an explanation. Relax, my friend. There is big machine in this realm. Quantum reactor. Pulls beings from other realms to this one. Nani here. Ten thousand others here. No coincidence. Nani has been stuck here for many years. No way home. A machine that reaches between realms. That is... Big breach of delegation safety, yes? I said, was wondering when you would show up. If only you had a hypercube, your loss could be enforced. <laughs> Silence. Is Aether intact? Uh, maybe. Nani has seen Aetherian creatures here. Quantum reactor. This random... I must act quickly. The matter of cowboy is of no importance thanks to the glory of the hypercube. Were to be restored. Nani. I require your assistance. No, no thanks. Nani does not want to be involved with the Void anymore. Nani is not just a tool to be wielded by realm walkers who can't meddle in our world enough for their liking. If you assist me, I will return you to your realm. Fine. But Nani will not be your catalyst. I will locate another suitable catalyst. All you must do is help me arrange the rift. Are you familiar with this realm's dwellers? Yes, I know a few locals. Excellent. Once I locate the catalyst, I will return here. Prepare to commission the dwellers to assist us. Fine. Yeah. Leave Nani alone now. I wasn't expecting you up for another week or so, but I guess the nanites worked fast. My name's Brian. Welcome to my home. I brought you here after your accident. Speaking of, how's your brain feeling? Any memory lapses? I'll take your word for it. Oh, uh, you had a little something of mine. The old space-time manipulator. I use this to fake my death, and you just steal it off my corpse. You got nerve, I'll give you that. I know you made use of it to stay alive thus far, so I've got a little something even more cutting edge for you now. I call it the BAM. Biometric arm-mounted multi-tool. Adds first aid systems, magnetic storage, ammunition synthesis, all in a wearable package. Should come in handy. Damn, bad timing. Uh, I've gotta go check on something. You get your BAM configured and I'll send you down to meet with my assistant, Theris. He'll give you a little tour of my home. Welcome to Brian Industries. New user detected. Welcome to BAM. Initiating biometrics. Please wait up to 10 minutes before engaging in normally fatal activities. Theris. I'm Brian's main personal assistant. Glorified secretary, really. Ah, just uh, realized, yeah, I look like a reactor security drone. Not to worry, fully rehabilitated. Brian captures us and reprograms us with stuff like free will, empathy, less stupid robotic voices. Promise, I, I won't shoot you. Look, Brian even installed safeties in my guns. Oh, shit! Correction, Brian said he installed safeties in my guns. Uh, I'm so sorry. Point is, you're safe from playing security here. Brian's headquarters is tucked away in one of the quietest corners of the reactor. Come on now, I'm supposed to give you a tour. So, 
you fought your way up through five floors of the quantum reactor on your own, from what I've heard. Pretty impressive. <sighs> Gotta warn you, the security they use down on the, the lower floors, it's uh, much more intense, as it really becomes a war zone the closer you get to the floor. Hundreds of aliens to be dispatched, you know, on a slow day. Gonna make the bots you fought on the way up look like children's toys. These are some of Brian's long-term experiments. Brian's been studying the alien life forms that are pulled here by the reactor. Luckily, we already know a lot about your universe, and we know you're just about genetically identical to the humans here. Otherwise, you'd be in one of those freezers. Oh, Ferris, is this her? No, Sylvia, it's a different human from Betas 4. Hey, no need for the sass. So, is it true that you fell all the way from the surface to the recycling center in an elevator with faulty e-stasis? Yep. Ryan found her on a conveyor belt leading into a pit of molten metal. <laughs> Skull fracture, legs pretty much jelly, one arm laying 20 feet away! Dang, girl. Well, you're looking much better now, that's for sure. Oh, Ferris, while I've got you here, did you get the Eiferback nerd map I requested from Leo? Oh yeah, right here. I'll transfer it to you. Uh, Leo told me to tell you to please not treat them too badly. Oh, Leo. He knows we have to torture them to get them to communicate with us, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a shame, too. Imagine what we could learn from them if they weren't so stubbornly aggressive. I suppose. Torture works, too, though. And it's fun to make organic beings suffer. <laughs> uh, no offense. Oh, right. Uh, we should get going. Sylvia, uh, good to see you as always. Stay cool in there. Very funny. See you around, Ferris. Excuse me? Here, come to this table. Your primary weapon is here for you. This will probably be the most useful tool you'll have. Possibly defining your entire journey here. Oh, what's that piece of junk doing here? <sighs> Ridiculous. We wouldn't possibly have you fight deadly aliens in a high-tech facility using a crowbar. <gasps> that would be absurd. Ah, there we are. Here you go. State-of-the-art triple-point plasma condenser. Shoot some targets in the water. Advances in brine industries ammunition synthesis technology frees you from reliance on convenient piles of live ammunition lying unguarded in improbable environments. Instead, ammunition is continuously synthesized over time. Great work! You'll be murdering my brothers in no time. <laughs> I think that's enough violence for now, though. Let's, uh, move on. We have to decide to show you all the... That is not supposed to happen. Are you there? Please respond. Sure am. What the hell was that? It looks like a particularly bad core cycle. Haven't had one this potent in months. The seismic activity is odd, but not unheard of. I'll start a standard lockdown. You just stay still for now. Be ready to fend off any visitors. Roger. is increasing a lot faster than usual. A few elevator shafts just collapsed. The metal connection just went dark as well. I need to get back online for damage assessment ASAP. Either you need to hang fly over the data mast. Data mast? Yes, Theris, the data mast. Why couldn't we need to go to the data mast, Theris? Jeez, okay. We at least have a clear route to the hangar. You can reach me through the robot access passages, but it looks like the only human accessible route is through sector four. Which was just put under quarantine. Ah. Okay, bud. Your only choice is to fight your way through. Shouldn't be too bad, but I hope you got some good practice in the range. I'll unlock the door and let you in. Since the sector's unlocked and we won't be able to communicate with you once you're inside, follow the signs to the hangar, okay? Come on, follow me.
know where the hell I am. Oh God, don't leave me over here. How did I get here? Health restored. health restored.
Ion's molecular filters allow you to stay alive underwater when necessary, extracting oxygen from the water and deploying it directly to your bloodstream. restored. You made it through just fine. Never doubted you would. Now, Brian really wants his internet back, so uh, let's get going. Hey, hey, hey! Look who didn't die. Let's get going. I need my internet back. Hop in. This cavern pipes the internet from the surface all the way down here to the lower floors. It's on the outskirts of the reactor, though. Doesn't see much of your usual activity, which is why I built my home here. Nice and quiet most of the time. Not today, though, obviously. I just intercepted a message from the reactor's intercom network. Looks like an internal repair of the I can't let them find the modifications I've made, so you need to take them out. 
Three pieces of cake, a few repair drones, some standard model security bots, and one officer. I can't go any closer to the data mass, but it's just a short walk up the ridge. Get moving. Hey, I just intercepted a message from the reactor's intercom network. Looks like an internal repair and containment team beat us to the mast. I can't let them find the modifications I've made, so you need to take them out. Should be a piece of cake, a few repair drones, some standard model security bots, and one officer. Welcome to the facility of Data Mask Beta. Due to events out of our control, Data Mask Beta's core is currently deactivated. If you represent a Plank ISD maintenance team, please use the central console to request access to the upper floors. Security alert. User is not registered maintenance personnel. Please drop your weapons, lie face down on the floor with your hands on your head, and wait for the arrival of the manual identity verification team to approve your credentials.
emergency maintenance access. Emergency access granted. Full health restored. Did you know? Filters were added to all Planck data masts in 1974 to block employee access to internet pornography. Following strikes, riots, and four deaths, the filters were removed 53 minutes later. It was just supposed to be an aptitude test. I came as soon as I saw they were sending back. I thought they were bringing a fucking centaur. He must have really pissed them off. Let's just get out of here before before the centaur calls in even more backup. Shit. Okay, no time to vehicle, you will notice a mounted 22mm rotary cannon. A little old-fashioned, sure, but it'll do the job. The job being dispatching the incoming aerial support that I do not want to lead to my headquarters. And we have contact. Plank gunships are our tail.
HQ is too far. We're about to fall out of the sky. If I take us down now, I might be able to make it softer. You're gonna want to hold on to something back there. was kind of fun. Neither of us died, so I count today as another victory. Let's swim to shore, trek back to HQ. I'll set you up in a guest room, small step out from the holding cell you've been in for the last few weeks. I want you to get you moving and out of my life as soon as possible. Tomorrow, we can talk about what comes next.